Welcome back to my continuing Update 8 Experimental Satisfactory series. This is Episode 3, and if you missed the first two, you can find a playlist on my channel page with the full series. In this episode, we'll be doing some much needed TLC to the starting factory. We'll be focused on cleaning up the factory layout by building a subfloor and moving many of the belts down to it. We'll also be integrating overflow for the awesome sinks and storage. We've got tons to do, so let's get started. We've got a little bit of a decision to make, and I think I know what we need to do. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> but our next two goals are going to be both moving towards steel, which is what I'd rather be doing, and fixing up our base, doing some TLC. I know deep down it would be better if we fixed our base. And so that is what we're going to be doing, even though I want to be doing steel. By fixing up the base, what I'm talking about is installing our underfloor, which, by the way, is going to be a mega underfloor. It's not going to be no seven meters. We will also be fixing up our storage. Our storage is all haphazard. These belt lines are all crazy. There's a bunch of clipping that, you know, is not my favorite thing. Why don't we do this? I would really like to get some modular frames rolling. That way the modular frames can be working and we can be storing up while we do our other work. Iron rods and reinforced iron plates. I think we may actually have those already in place over on our assembly bus line. So yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go ahead and build ourselves two. And I think I think this is a perfect place. So we're gonna do that, and that's gonna satisfy my itch to try to progress, even though we really need to do some fixing. And I'll feel better knowing that those modular frames are storing up. And keep it nice and simple and right out the door. There's our, that's where our modular frames home will be. So we'll do reinforced plates first, which I think is on level three. Done. And then we would need the iron rods, which is on level. Okay, let's see, that's screws. Really need to uh, import to my signs here. Uh, level four. All right, no big deal. Okay, it'd be no big deal if I lined them up correct. butter and just like that modular frames are rolling so that didn't take i mean it took no time at all all right first step is we need to build an access way to get to the subfloor i want a walkway here on this floor i don't necessarily want access but it would be out of the way i want a four by four Plenty of room. 
we're gonna need all this space out here. Yeah. About this one. Have to go here, and I... We're gonna need that space. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to bite the bullet and... Set it up right here. Okay. First step is... We need to decide how low we can go. And I think that's going to be dictated by those rock croppings. Look at that lumen. Look at that square of light. That is pretty awesome. Artifact from lumen there. And then let's do one meter foundation for the bottom. It's actually going to be... Yeah, one too many, I think. Uh, it's just right there. We'll we'll live with it. I like to have that extra four meters, so it'll probably come in handy. All right. Well, let's go for it. Take the plunge. We. Working in the subfloor region, we are definitely going to have to. Be working with a light, which even doesn't really help all that much. Let's see, we can wall in these because we're going to be the edge of our factory. And then we can work around this rock. Wall in this. Go ahead and open these up. How do we want organized do one more okay then we could do turn let's get some floor space definitely gonna have to get some lights down here uh you know and designing that's one of the reasons why i wanted to have lumen on right off the bat Maybe instead of these stairs, they're pretty aggressive. What if we went instead? Oh no. I want to get up there fast. Won't be. Mm -hmm. But something like. One stair at a time. This is perfect. We can make a little hut here. Oh, we don't have any doors. Um, let's go and purchase a few things that we're going to need in our subfloor. Three coupons is not very many. But we definitely need some doors. Walls. Yeah. Alright, where's our door? Gonna open. There we go. And let's put some walls on our little hut. A little big. Uh, let's, well, I wish that we had half, we have half foundations. We don't have half walls. Be nice. Do we have any roofing? <laughs> we have no roofing. So we'll leave this open, open air for now, which is fine. We probably could use the light anyway. We're gonna need lights so bad. Okay. The 
plan down here is really to move a lot of the cabling. Uh, well, an awesome, I think an awesome shop should fit, awesome sink should fit without, yeah, good. There's no clipping. So we can fit an, an entire awesome sink down here. So we're gonna be burning all of our excess materials, organizing, preparing, and then we'll send it back up to have our main storage in that area we were kind of marking out. Yeah, so this whole area out here is gonna be our main storage. Um, we will need quite a bit of space on the front of these for some belt management, but I'm gonna try to keep that to as minimum as we can. So one of the things that I want to do is I want to prep for smart splitters. I want an entire row of splitters centered in this tile, headed up. And then that way when anything overflows, like any of this, it gets kicked down and sunk. Stored and then sunk. Although in the case of ingots and ore, we won't store those. We don't need those stored. But anything else will store and then sink. So I don't have smart splitters yet. Uh, although honestly, ooh, I'm, I'm looking for any excuse to put off like pulling all this down. So let's actually <laughs> go, let's see if we can unlock our smart splitters using Caterium. Our closest Caterium is, should be just south of us. So we're gonna go around this corner here and then we'll head south and see if we can find it. Wish there was an auto run so I could fiddle with some of my, look at that. Green is really pretty. Fiddle with some of my windows. Oh, is that a, oh, we need it though, bacon. This is one of multiple edibles we have detected in your vicinity, which are within approved nutritional and medical categories as established by R&D. Edibles. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Okay, I think we need to go over this little bridge and Caterium should be... Oh, what do we got? Aw, oh, just a regular hog. Come here. I have a new toy I want to try out on you. Well... I didn't change that in update eight. Still works like a charm. Ethereum, are you here? Are you everything I wanted you to be? Limestone. Be up here somewhere. Maybe, maybe you're higher than I was thinking. And I just know that that cave is full of spiders. I, I don't know if I'm mentally prepared for that so we're gonna do something different hey that's a low flying moth pretty sure the caterium is up there so let's cheat found the caterium and i found some friends Okay. I just noticed that there's two other Caterium nodes that are way easier to get to than this one. So, yeah. Do I have a portable miner on me? Don't. Uh, let's build one. Build a couple, actually. All right. In the meantime, we're gonna make it so that we're gonna be pulling Caterium out of here in the future. So we might as well do some prep work. A little higher, can we get a little higher? There we go. towards the base.
Well, these catwalks are better than a foundation, so we're gonna do it. Ethereum. All right. Be over here ish. Yep, right there. It was so close. I mean, I guess I could have built like a miner, but I don't want to have to run power out here and stuff. Jingle bells, jingle bells. And we will need a French. Mobile research station. All right. We're knocking Katerium out. Okay, I did it again. AI okay, limiter. 200. Gather. Our two power poles would be nice, but... Oh, yeah, power switch. Smart splitter. There you are. 10 AI limiters. All right. All right. Smart splitter. And they need one... Yep, one AI limiter. And we need 50. I, I just want to make sure we won't need any more quick wire. Do we need any to actually place smart splitter? No, we don't. Okay. We're just going to collect. And we're headed back home. All right, so our first smart splitter is going to be here. Actually, want to make sure it's locked on the floor. That might happen, that's okay. It's right. one, let's do the same. I know I can connect it uh, or attach it directly to, but to be honest. Then it's connected to the actual belt and not the ground, and I need it to be exact. So now let's start. I have to be careful because we're going to have one. Yeah. Now we can offset them. All right, that's a good thought. A good thought because we're going to have these coming out. And they're going to need to go down as well. So. No, those are going to go out vertically. I think we're okay. Uh, let's do all the iron on one side. And that's going to be these four. That looks good. 
Now, what is a convenient way to get up there and set them? So these first two, we're gonna go any in center and then overflow on right. First four, actually. All right, and then the next four, we're gonna overflow this way. Okay. Looking good. That is this first input. I think what we can do is set up this output. Lots of floor holes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and place these two, two. All right. And let's do the other side. And then we'll delete this stuff, get it out of the way when we finally switch over. We can do it a little bit at a time as well. One thing I think we can do. Alright, what if what if we lean into it? What if we kind of show it off? Like um you know, we could put maybe glass behind it, and this is our walkway. And then right, have to do yeah. Walkway would probably be eight I. Yeah, okay, and then... Is that right? That's right. Here, 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 here. Yeah, no. That's the way it should be. gonna look really cool when get it working I usually wouldn't spend this much time on like making stuff look perfect but I just I hate redoing stuff let's get up on our ladder here Okay, cool. Then one, two, no. And I think we can I think we can shut these off. And this opens up our our walkway. And then we are gonna go right into here with you and then with you all right all right all right and then go down below and hook those up Well, 
it's a little in the rock, but could be worse. And then those are going to be in the way. Get them past. One. Good. Line these up. All right. All right. Cool. Mostly out of the way. Um, and now that actually should be it. Oh, well, duh. Silly. Okay. Well, at least these are set for when the time comes. So, all that really means is we need to set our other miners. I've been aware I probably am, was going to cheat this. We'll make it look clean as clean as we can. that's going to work. It does work. Alright, shush, don't tell anybody. What you're talking about? There's nothing there. Let's see if we can kill this. Kill that. There she goes. I think that was the last one in the way. Let's get rid of this. Okay. Okay, hey, that's the first of our belts out of the way. Let's take it straight down. Plant our flag. Okay. I think what we're going to do is set up a row of somewhat temporary awesome sinks. I know it's a little silly to be sinking ore that we've mined, but it's kind of a test of the process more than anything else. Big problem is I'm just not 100% sure what I want to do down here, so I'm kind of getting something in so we can see how we like it. Like, I don't plan on taking those all the way to the ground. I'm going to have to leave walkway. Okay, so that's all working. Our overflow setup. And then we're going to copy this. I mean, this is just ore coming in, which isn't really, right, like that big of a deal. But we're going to copy this down these other rows that have a lot more valuable materials that are going to be um, shoved into some awesome sinks. Next thing I want to do is I want to do to the copper what we did to the 
iron. So let's go ahead and kill our copper production. Make it nice and clean. Now let's put it right in the middle. That'll be our setup. Is that a different color? No, that's just... <laughs> that's the... <laughs> that's Lumen. It's pretty cool. That's the open hole there. Close that. And then... We can delete this monstrosity. And then we'll close that. We need that one open. Then we're gonna go... There and there, I think. One works for sure. Yeah. Now time to commit another crime against Satisfactory, the Satisfactory Gods. Alright, if you're squeamish, burst your eyes because it's not going to be pretty. And the reason that I'm doing this is so that floor's too there. Okay, I think that'll still be hidden. So that those don't come in at super wonky different angles when you're looking at it. We may cover it up, put a box around it, but and now that those are aligned, we can do this and them up side by side. Now, it's going to be a bit of a pain in the butt when it comes time to upgrade these, right? When we get a new belt and we upgrade the miners and, but I mean, it is what it is. I see nothing. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, good thing we tested that. We may have to carve out some more depth for our friends. <laughs> okay, well, that's good to know. One thing I definitely am going to do is go uh, mine some silica and quartz so we can get roller blades or whatever the hell they're called. Maybe one day I'll stop thinking that I'm about to craft when I research. But it is not this day. It was 50. Oh my god. Blade Runners. Anymore. I feel like I've been moving in slow motion this entire save. You know, you just get so used to them. Oh, yeah. Oh, the jumping. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, this will be the reason I absolutely fall off. So just so that we're all on the same page. That I fall and, and hurt myself. What do we need to do next? Next, we really need to pull down these. Because we need to transfer them over into the inputs. Over there. 
I'll show you what I mean. We need to take this cross, all these cross beams back and forth, and we're going to be pulling them underneath. First step, really, is off of this splitter. Yeah, we really just need to... You know, it's funny, I just realized that as long as we have overflow sinks or... I mean, they need to... I want them to match anyway. But as long as these overflow sinks for all of the produced materials that are coming out of this the this row as long as those get synced over there they actually don't even need to get synced here because we would rather sync the refined materials and not the ore anyway but so we may end up just killing all of this but that's okay. That is okay. We're, le we're we're living and we're learning. Um. So smart splitters coming in. Next row. And we'll do the four off of the side. Two, three, four will be first four that are, I know, that are iron ingots. And then the first two are copper ingots. And then we'll figure out what we want to from there. But we should be able to go ahead and set these. we really really need to do is we need to shut down production get these placed we'll worry about the over uh, the overflow afterwards okay, we need to load them in where we need to load them in here Two, three, four. Those are the iron ingots. So, we do something like this. We just line them up. I don't know if I want to do that. I think we need to have. Do. Some of these may end up being flipped around. Not the first six, though. We really don't need to do that, I don't think. Let's just pick a height. Go here. It's going to be one heck of a subfloor. Right, let's line them up. So, two down, just four. Wait, one, two. I think just one, two. Because copper is going to come in underneath them. All 
right? And the copper is going to come down one, two, four. Make sure that lines up. Yep. Wow. The I never noticed this, but the. Maybe it's it must be it might, maybe it's new in update eight or I, I there's no way I wouldn't have noticed it. There's a little chink every time you do a, a jump, a slide jump specifically. That's cool. All right, we got a little bit more to work with. Now we got to do a little switcherooski here. So, rebuild this. Oh, too many. Sorry, I was getting carried away. Okay. Make sure that this is reversible for them. It is. All right. I think we're looking good. Okay. Reinforced iron plates are back up and running. Yeah, these cascading belts are really going to look cool. Okay, what's next? Next is we gotta hook these bat these two bad boys up, which is the wires from that side. And then what is this? Okay, we killed the iron ingots. We gotta get the iron ingots flowing. Did we not finish hooking them up. I don't think we did. That is going to be here. Let's do the first two. It's a little funky, but you know what? Cool, as long as it matches. And then we'll do a different layer as well for, I mean, yeah, we needed to go down underneath it. It really just has to be those two layers. So this layer is for this side coming out, and that layer is for this depth is for that side coming in. These gotta go. Iron rods and then iron plates. The rods get kicked back up the top row. Rods are in the top row. God, I love those things. So we do need to connect this back in there. That's rods. And then it's just wire rods. Okay. Okay. The rods are on this side and the rods need to be here. I'm leaving the top one in case we need to slide something in that unforeseen, but see. Yeah, I see them up there. Okay, cool. Rods are working, so that's great. I think what we need to do is build out this one. Yes. Yes, we do.
Okay, these are overflows, right? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't need to, do we need to split this here? First of all, that's off, so that's horrifying. In reality, we just need to send, we're overcomplicating this. We just need to send it forward and then the overflow doesn't happen here. We already have the smart splitter up there for that. Don't do it twice. Gonna be, yeah, we, okay, all right. Okay, so that fixes that and then keeps our floor cleaner. And then we'll have an opportunity to get any overflow from our smart splitter setup. That's the whole point of this, duh. Good, it looks beautiful. Then kill these. What's that? Okay. Wires headed up and it's in its home, right where it should be. Wires done. And this is like hurting my brain. But we're doing we're, we're doing it. We are doing it. So we need a split of iron rods. Iron rods are coming through the top. We also need a split of wire. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. I just keep saying it. Make it true, right? really need to do something like overflow on one side and splits on the other side. How do we fit them? And then how much room do we have? We don't have much room. We have no room this way. We do have room this way, but that just leaves this row. really limits how high we're going to be able to build this, which is sort of the whole point of this is building it infinitely high. But I can bring these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this is what we have to do to make this work. A little dense, denser than I wanted. I'm gonna make this, I'm not gonna make that turn. Ooh, we could offset them. That's that's how we do this. That's how we do it. That's fine. We can do that. Totally doable. First rows on the front, just like how we had it. Okay, and then when we run out of space, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, lucky number seven. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So number eight here can't actually go there. Has to go there. All right, we can do that. That's the solution. I knew it. I knew. I knew we'd get there. There. Let me fill this. This there. Fill that. Fill that. that. There. 
Click. These are all clits. Right? Okay, now let's set this correctly. Well, all of them are going to need so any forward and then any right and then overflow left. I forgot that you could copy and paste smart splitter settings. Thank you, Lord and Savior, Coffee Stain Studios. Get up there, get up there. Paste, paste, just for good measure. Double check, make sure it's what we want. It is, there's our split. Okay, amazing. Now, that's our split. So we have one, leave that ladder for now. We have one unit, one piece of equipment doing two jobs. It's doing a regular split as well as it's overflowing. Awesome. So, and again, we needed our copper, our wire to go into the first door there and it's coming out here. So, Let's see what that looks like. That one's done. So those iron plates that we're making can go directly over to this spot here. Coming out here. And how much space do we need? Well, not much at all. We can do a little... <laughs> it doesn't go there. That's where the cable is. goes all the way over here. There we go. Yeah, it's like pulling teeth, but we're getting it in. We're getting it in. All right. means this is killed and lane. Okay, what's the third one? Is that iron uh that's reinforced iron plates coming back around. Okay, which means build this. This. All right. Now we just got to get that to number three. Be, be here. Okay, I think that works. They're moving. Perfecto. Hey, what's next? Rods. Perfect. And okay, now we gotta get that bad boy. Wee over there. Okay, that should be that rod's coming down. Sure, freaking hope so. I'm getting faster at this. I'm gonna actually figure out what the heck I'm doing and then we're gonna be done. What's next? What goes in there? I'm sure screws goes in there. 
So where are our screws? Our screws are coming out in the third box. Okay, so we just gotta go from there to there. Totally doable. All right. Um, and actually, we this one this one's actually not doing anything. Screws are in place. Okay. Okay, rotors need to come in there, and they're being created over here. Rotors are the first ones. Two. Now we're heading this way. One, two. Okay, here they come. Okay. Second row. Smart plates. I think we're going to go to the ground for, for the resource sinking and the smart splitting modular frames is here i'm not really sure where our storage is going to be maybe we'll build it elevated but let's see if we can figure out where we're going to build our storage and i think it's going to be something like this yeah, and then one in the center. So we need five. Okay. Starting there, yeah. All right. Yep. We're going to be building something like this. This is going to look so good when it's done. Really happy. Really happy how this is turning out. Uh, unfortunately, we only got half a job done, so it's a little frustrating, but there's not a lot we can do. But this is looking way more organized. We're going to put, like, all this behind glass. We're going to light it. It's just, it's going to look amazing. A lot going on. Very pretty up here. I think that's where we're going to leave it. Thank you so much for watching. We're not quite finished with our TLC project, but I expect to finish it as well as Awesome Sync and Central Storage integration by the end of the next episode. If you want to watch me struggle to figure out how to solve these problems I'm giving to myself in real time, look for my live streams and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.